When I look at the world, I can't help but notice the way our character shapes to the form of our motives. We are drowned out by media, lost in our phones. We love to look like the famous because we strive to be known. We spend more time on Insta than we do with our friends. So when we see people in person, we feel we have to pretend. We're dressed in new clothing, $50 for a shirt, because if we don't look expensive, we have no worth. We put our trust in our money, our hopes in our appearance. We're driven by culture, dissatisfaction is steering. We live, laugh, and love as we gather our stuff, but at the end of the day, it's never enough. We build up our image so it's not what it seems. We need to wake to reality and stop living the dream. See, I'm the type of guy that will smile in your face. Meanwhile, I'm in pain, hurting from a place deep inside I can't erase. I'm the type of guy that is polite to the girls, but then at night I give my life to a cyber world where women are made out to be something that they're not. And I don't say no to it because I'm weaker than I thought. I'm the type of guy that will force my convictions on you, expecting everyone else to act exactly like I do. And if they don't agree, I make them feel guilty. See, I pretend to be flawless, yet I'm actually filthy. I talk the loudest because I'm the most insecure. I'm often sarcastic, making people laugh is like my cure. 18 years old and I still don't have braces because I wasn't raised in a family that could afford making the payments. So while everyone else has gained confidence in their smile, I've been doubting my own ever since I was a child. And at the end of the day, I'm a major work in progress, experiencing healing while sin's making me nauseous. But it isn't my sin that makes me who I am. It's how the Lord has used it to get me where I stand. So I have no choice but to be thankful. This life is not my own. All glory to the Lord, He takes this life that I have known. He shows me that the things within it are only for the moment. And if it wasn't for His grace, I never would have known it. It's incredible to think that His love is so much greater. Because if it wasn't for my brokenness, I wouldn't need my Savior. So I'm drowning in this ocean, slowly losing oxygen. While wave after wave is crashing down on top of me. The water is His love and the air is my desire. As I struggle to survive, I cannot lift my head higher. So I give up on breathing and let the water fill my lungs. Because I'd rather die to my desires than live with God is love. I tell this to you all to ignite a spark inside your mind. Is it us this world needs or does this world need Christ? And when we spend our lives chasing things that make our image better, do we realize that no worldly thing can hide our sin forever? Because when it all is said and done, we're just heading to our graves. Do we want to live for others or to ourselves remain enslaved?